familia, this week we are going to go a little bit, go back to a couple of techniques that we already covered, or at least I covered it in the Spanish version, but uh, they're interesting and not difficult, but it's going to be a, a practice to make accurate pieces, uh, to join one with others, use jump jacks, and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, a simple birdhouse, right? But, as you can see here, there is a joint in between the roof and the rest, and uh, we are gonna, as I said, we are gonna use a glue block, we are gonna use a jump shack. Uh, it's this kind of projects that, that is very, it's enjoyable. You, we will spend a couple of time, we will make different pieces and make all of them work together and uh, it's, a fun, it's fun time. This is going to be a funny time, we are going to enjoy it. I hope you will enjoy it as well. So let's go, let's go to, to see how to do a birdhouse. Well, we are going to begin as always, marking the centers, this is a piece of sherry that was drying for, for a while in a friend's yard and have several cracks, so we are going to begin, of course, using protection, we are going to use the, the spindle roughing gouge, turn a cylinder and then we are, we are going to discard the part which have cracks or the biggest crack that I saw from the beginning. Let's see how bad is it now. Okay, that one I'm marking the crack so I'm gonna discard this part and in the same time I'm gonna make the the holding part for the chuck. So finish with the saw just for convenience and now we remove the spur center and we use the dovetail jaws so first step we're gonna change a smaller tool rest more comfortable and now is clean a little bit more a little bit and then face and we are gonna use the, the Jacob chuck with the Forstner bit, this is a one and five eighths, and we're gonna dip possibly another one and five eighths, maybe two inches is as much. We establish outside, and now it's time to refine a little bit the inside. Even this is gonna be a decoration piece, but why not to sand it inside and finish it? And we have to get used to finish every single piece inside and out just for our satisfaction even uh, uh, it's not not much possible or not much uh, how to say this you nobody's gonna touch it right inside but i mean it's a good idea always so after sand it inside we can go ahead and establish the shape we like in this case it's gonna be uh, around that bottom like an egg or three quarters of an egg and then a little bit of shear scraping to soft everything and a little bit of sanding This sherry wood is very beautiful. Now what we're gonna do is make the hole uh, as the entrance of the hose. For that, it's a good idea to block the head if you have uh, if you have the chance the chance to do it. And I use here uh, five eighths force bit to do that. After that, we have to sand inside again for this possible uh, tear out of the hole. And you know, it's cleaning, sanding, and now uh, we are able to finish the outside. And we have to establish 
the tenon that is going to fit into the roof of our home, our built house. And this big spindle is not longer useful, uh, useful, so we go to a smaller spindle gouge and part it tool. Once we finish this, we are going to practice. We can hold this with the chuck, but we are going to practice with jump chuck. And this is a trial and error, so we have to... Uh, I want to be very pre precise, very, very exact, so this allows me to practice it a lot more, which is very good practice for when we begin to do threaded uh, leads for boxes and all this, so it's always, it's always a good moment to practice every single cut. And in this case, after we finish the bottom, the bottom and sand it, and uh, as you see, it's a very tight fit. Uh, I will apply a fri uh, friction polish. And now we are going to use a, a glue block for the roof, and we are going to use the tailstock as a. To, uh, to give pressure, now balance the piece with a ball gouge and we are good to begin the fitting. Again, trial and error. And this is the fun part of it because this small project uh, is, a, is a, a process with a lot of steps, which is always, I mean, Honestly, most of the time it's more fun than make, for example, a, a simple bowl. This kind of work is interesting always. And there is endless choices of shapes and holes and fits that we can trace, so it's always interesting. Here we are establishing the uh, inside shape and the lower part of the roof and when we have the feet it's gonna be glue but anyway i want to have a tight fit and now we're gonna begin with the shape outside it's gonna be just a cool shape an easy one but again it's a practice uh, the ball gouge is gonna come useless just in a second is difficult to go the, the the tool to choose have to be a spindle gouge there you have it and now sanding and finishing and, and we're gonna part part it out and again another jump check so this is why i mean and there you have the box so we're gonna finish the jump check and finish the top of the of the roof again trial and error and as many times we do this as more accurate we are going to be uh, this is as everything else is a, a matter of practice so this is why it's interesting and if you go too far, you always can use a little bit of paper, like it happened to me just in a second, because we have to pay attention to clean the, the dust inside, and when we, when we forget it, we go so far. So there we have it, a little bit of paper, and now just finish the roof, sand, and apply the finish, and we are good to go and a little bit of a, a small hole on the top for the hanger. So, there you have it.
final result, final product. I didn't record the, the this small doll that double that have to be for the bird, but it's not difficult. So always any comments and doubts and suggestions down below will be much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to have the channel, you have a Patreon button down below. Thank you very much and I see you next week.